In this video, we're going to complete example one. We're going to convert the following mixed numerals to improper fractions. So we'll start with question A, which is three and a half. I've actually drawn it at right as well. You'll notice that we've got three circles completely colored in, representing the three, and then half a circle colored in, representing our fraction one over two. If I wanted to convert this to an improper fraction, what I could do is say, all right, each circle has been cut into two pieces. That means that my denominator must be two. If I count how many parts have been shaded in, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts shaded in, meaning that my numerator is seven. So this is the correct solution, three and a half when converted to an improper fraction is 7 over 2. The problem is that we needed a diagram to do this, and when you answer these questions, you're not going to have the diagrams in front of you. So I'm going to teach you another trick that you can do to work these out. What we're going to do is we're going to take the denominator and multiply it by our whole number 3, and then we're going to add the numerator at the end. I'll write that down. We multiply first, then we add. Okay, so what's going to happen when we do that? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. That gives us our numerator of 7. What number goes at the bottom? Well, whatever number was at the bottom of our mixed numeral, must be the number that goes at the bottom of our improper fraction. So it needs to be 2. Moving now on to question B, you will notice that we have two circles completely coloured in, representing our 2, and then we've got 3 shaded in of a circle that's been cut into 4 pieces. That's our fraction 3 over 4, or 3 quarters. Now, if I was to convert this to an improper fraction, my denominator would have to be 4, because each circle was cut into 4 pieces. If I count how many pieces are shaded in, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces shaded in. So it's 11 over 4. Right, so how would I do this without the diagram? Well, we're going to use the same method we used in question A. We multiply the denominator by our whole number of 2, and then we add our numerator of 3 at the end. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. That means our numerator is 11. Remembering that whatever our denominator was for our mixed numeral, it needs to be the same as our denominator for our improper fraction, being 4. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 1. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.